The U.S. Ambassador, David Hale, was summoned last night. We expressed our serious concerns over what President Donald Trump said in the tweet to the Ambassador, a source from Pakistan's Foreign Ministry, who asked not to be named, told EFE. An official from the U.S. Embassy, who also requested not to be named, confirmed the meeting between Hale and the Pakistani authorities but did not provide any details. The United States has foolishly given Pakistan more than $33 billion in aid over the last 15 years, and they have given us nothing but lies and deceit, thinking of our leaders as fools. They give safe haven to the terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan, with little help. No more. Trump had written in what was his first tweet of 2018. These accusations from Trump came after the New York Times reported on Friday that the White House could withhold around dollars US $225 million, dollars a $315 million, in aid to Pakistan over its alleged laxity in checking terrorist networks. We have already told the US that we will not do more, so Trump's no more does not hold any importance. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Kawai Jadassif said Monday in an interview on the country's GOTV channel in the wake of Trump's tweet. Relations between Pakistan and the U.S. took a turn for the worse after Trump in August accused Pakistan of providing safe haven to terrorist groups. Pakistan, which denies these accusations, later suspended official visits between the two countries. Kabul and Washington have been accusing Islamabad of giving shelter to insurgent groups for years, like the Taliban faction Hakwai Network, which has carried out attacks in Afghanistan. However no U.S. president until now had sternly condemned Pakistan.